Hello everyone, welcome to Glory Hound. Oh, I was like, oh, perfect that's... timing. Now you know, you know what? You all, we have to you put all up get with. to see the timer <laughs> and everything happening right in front of you, so there's no excuses. <laughs> She's got I a have point. Have allergies. There's She's got no a point. excuses. I no excuses. Allergies. Remember the one we week when we started? You were midwife. That was uh, even worse. <laughs> oh that was even worse. <laughs> guys, I had allergies. Guys, okay. Sure. Guys. Sure. Sure. Fever <laughs> season. <laughs> allergies, aka it's giant boogers. It's super good to be back, guys. Nice and hello, oh, Vincent nice. and Kabuki Kid. Hey, everybody. So I got back from Origins and everything. Yeah. That was, I was there for an entire week. I kind of forgot about you. I'm like, oh, yeah, You're we like, have a friend oh, named yeah. Glory Hound. Oh, I remember yeah. her. We had a good time. We played games. Yeah, we got together we and played games. No Origins 2019. We, yes. No Origins. Hashtag. No Origins, yeah. No Origins 2019. No origins. I got to play two new games and yeah. then teach them two new games. Yeah, it was great. And then I went kayaking. And then what did I do Sunday? Homework. Homework. <laughs> Homework. <laughs> Homework. You even yes. like social media yes. about it. Yeah. Because <laughs> somebody told me, they're like, hey, I saw your No Origins post for day two. Where's day one? I'm like, oh, I put it on like Instagram, but not Facebook. I'm like, hold oh on. Oh, yeah. So have, like, Gotta go across it. Yeah. all platforms. All pla Kabuki Kid. And then I just ignore Twitter still, mostly. Kabuki Kid says Jaws Twitter. the board game is good. I didn't know there was a Jaws the board yeah. game. Yeah. No, they, I didn't they see had that. it in Origins, right? This is actually I didn't see Saws. It. It's a different so game. It's Swag. That's Swa awkward. Swag. That's awkward. Swag. Swag. <laughs> it's like the new swag. I got swag, yo. Swag, Ooh. girl. You know what, though? <laughs> yes, queen. At yes, Origins, queen. At Origins, <laughs> I did see a game called Isle of Cats, which is like this game. Why are you guys all looking I at me? I think that's just your like, living Isle room. Uh, Isle of Cats. <laughs> Isle I wish cats. it was Isle of Cats up in here. Let me she tell you what. Like I wish. She's like, hey, did you see this cat game called Cat I brought. Like, nope. I brought back Cat Cafe. Exploding cat Kittens. Cat Cafe. Exploding Kittens. Crazy, Crazy Cat Lady. Crazy Cat Games now. Crazy cat. Yeah, every you have cat to have game. cat games. Like, come on now. She yeah. just buys them on <laughs> theme alone. She's like, but well, there's cats in it. Look, there's it's cats. a lucky cat game. No one really has to do this. Guys. Cats shooting ladders. The cats own the internet. What's that cat one that you have to do this with? Lucky Cat or something? Yeah, it's a lucky cat. Or you could just keep doing that. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure everybody Is likes that. Your new wave. Everybody likes that. <laughs> you, got, you got swag. You could tell you have swag when you wave like this. Swag. I'll have to put up pictures though for Isle of Cats. I'm super excited about it. Swag. It has little. <laughs> it has little cat polyominoes. That's awesome. And they're like little monster I'm cats. Kind of so they're all spiky for and stuff. What's, what's and that like cat stacking super cute. game? Though? You also had that cat stacking game. That was like the cats oh, 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 what is that called? And they're like little plastic cats, and our kid lost one of the cats, and then you were like all <gasps> upset about it. Oh. oh, yeah, I was super upset. That was like was a like cat, cat puzzle game. game. Yeah. It, I think there should be like a threshold. If your kids lose X amount of pieces, you're allowed to like divorce that child. That's probably For fair. real. You know what? I brought the hammer down. I was like, no more playing with games <laughs> for you. <laughs> I took she, all these games. I was like, you only play, play with, with me. Toys. Yeah. And then she, like, she was playing with Get Bit. And she's like, I lost the shark. I'm like, I was like, how dare you? The how, how do you lose? Well, 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 I know how you lose it. And they win. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> they just yeah. swim There's no win. danger anymore. Yeah, they're, just, they're like, hey, look, I'm swimming in the ocean. Leisurely stroll. Good job swimming in the ocean. No more swag to threaten them. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining us today. We missed you guys, too. We missed talking about Kickstarters. I didn't miss you guys. I don't think Facebook chat is working right now. I think we're on Facebook, but the chat isn't working. There's, no, like, some restream issue going on. So just smoke on, signals. So we'll, we have a window yeah. here, and we can see them. So if yeah. you got anything. I guess, yeah, Dr. Glory Hog, get on chat so we can at least see people. We got Alan on there. He's okay. asking, does this work? Yeah. Yeah, it does not. It does not. Sorry. Okay, so let's get started. We do have one thing up first. Uh-oh, that's a problem. We do have one thing up first that I wanted to talk about that was not on our list of things to talk about. This is a surprise to me. I showed up. Yeah, and you're like, what are we talking what about, is this guys? Thing? So we got it in the mail, and then when she shows you a thing of it, like I open up the thing, and it's and it's like addressed to me, and I open it up, and out it slides out like that, just like that, 100% that prototype slides out, and I was like, this is not something you want sent to you. <laughs> <on the end. laughs> like just, cause I slide it up and it, it was blinking too because I must have hit the it button. It was blinking. So it was blinking and I was yeah. like, well, at least it's green. I guess we're not going to blow You're up. You're like, how big of an explosion could this <laughs> device make? Yeah. I was like, is this what you want to send in the right mail? Here. Like a little... And then it says flashing red. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. you're like, wait a second. So <laughs> I 
I had started talking to this guy and he's like, I have this really cool electronic timer. And that's all I knew about it was like, hey, I have a really cool electronic timer. I'm like, cool. I like timers in games because, you know, that makes that's makes things so much more fun when you can go, oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're, oh, you're it's almost or done. Or if someone's timer's just taking a long time on their done. turn. Yeah. You, know. Oh, you're like, know, know you get a personal timer for somebody. You have, like, their name on it and stuff. Yes, you're like, you can only take Here's this long. Here's your turn, <laughs> George. <laughs> you're not going to say names? I'm not going to say any names. Well, we can. <laughs> Flip it over. Here you go, Fred. You got two minutes. <laughs> go on, Sally. Pick up the face. It's always a Karen. Yeah, Facebook is Freaking evil. Karen. Facebook is always causing trob- problems. Have fun killing the planet, Karen. With these things here, these are like super. What a shirt. These are super F-U cheap, Karen. guys. Guys. Yeah. Like three of these for like twelve bucks. Whoa. Yeah. And look, it's small enough you can put it in your nose. Don't what you end up, what you end up doing is you can actually set this for different time intervals, like five, fifteen, ten, and stuff like that, by using the little nodes on it. And a paper clip, and then it sets it for the different timers. But, like, this is just an – it's crazy because, like, it's a little LED and a battery and a circuit board, and they made a fantastic timer out of it. The only thing that I really – wheel of fortune because <laughs> they need a new Vanna. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that I really have to say about it is I wish it was, like, more anesthetically pleasing. Like, it looks just like – I wish it also was antiseptic. So <laughs> <laughs> it has, like, a little hourglass on it, but – I don't know. What do you guys think I about it? I kind of dig that it's just this random thing where at first glance you're like, what is this thing even? It looks cool. Yeah. I kind of like the like stripped down I want thing. like a case though because I almost lost it in my dice and I w- had it like all next to my dice and everything. And Dr. Glory Hogg had to go find it It's for definitely me. the sort of thing I could see easily losing. Easi- yeah. And that's yeah. But on the good side, if one of your pets swallowed, it'd probably come out pretty easy. You need to like mount it on the wall nice and small. just whenever you're playing, like, all right, we're going to use the timer. It's like always there, ready, just in case. Like your Mondo timer on the wall? just. I don't have a Mondo. I mean, yes and. <laughs> no, don't do. Don't swallow them. Batteries in your stomach are bad, guys. <laughs> I love that someone in the chat <laughs> knows that that's the thing. Like, like swallowing Aesthetically? Batteries. Not anesthetically. Aesthetically. Aesthetically. Plating. Aesthetically, did I say anesthetically? I don't know. It just runs in your I'm tired. family to make up words. I'm so tired. <laughs> it's like, it's like skive. Yeah. Skive, yeah. Skive, yeah. Listen, we, we mispronounce the on. heck out of things here, but. <laughs> I I'll, never say that right. I'll bring you all the information. Okay, but three of them for 12 bucks, I don't think is a bad deal. Yeah, that's great. You can set them for different intervals and stuff. <laughs> Kabuki Kid brings up a point in the fact that you can't see exactly how much time you have left, but it does start blinking. So once you start getting close... It gives you a warning. Yeah, once it starts getting close to the time ending, it starts blinking. I just wish that, like, there was something over it to make that red blinkiness or that blinkiness, you know, like, I want a brighter blinking color. If like, you, I want a cover. If you just had, like, some kind of plastic right. cover, you could stick over it, and it would kind of, like, make the light look bigger. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, just something to make it a little bit bigger just and then the brighter. Just off your car and just... There you go, right? Right on top of that. <laughs> so when it's three for 12, I assume that doesn't count the batteries? Yeah. You got to supply your own batteries. No, 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 no. It comes with the batteries. It comes with batteries, yeah, too? Yeah, yeah. No, they they give you this, like, in a mailer with... With the battery like, and everything. Yeah, battery and I everything. I think that's Ready really to go. reasonable. For 12 bucks, yeah, Although I, I think so. I don't know so. if you'd ever need more than one. I don't know why you'd need three. Well, you you need give them out to your care. friends. You're like, and you get a timer, and you get a timer. <laughs> no, for like Christmas. You're like, hey, Christmas man. stocking stuffers. <laughs> Greg, I really wanted to say thank you for what you've done on the show. Wow, thanks, Here man. Go, man. Thanks. I yeah, that's it. true. Batteries Not can one, kill though. pets. So, uh, yeah, I just wish there was something a little bit bigger. But other than that, the battery's easy to come out My of it. kids tearing open their stocking yeah, Christmas it's morning. It was just one of those It's in super there. easy to set up. Whenever you take the battery out, it remembers just what the that. settings are. You <laughs> put it in there. I'm just, like, amazed that, like, such a – we can get such a tiny little thing, like – Technology. Technology is crazy, guys. I kind of like All right. the strips All right. down M- aesthetic. Moving on, on to the main show. First up here, we have Company of Heroes. This is by Bad <laughs> Crow <laughs> Games. It's <laughs> for <laughs> two to four players, and it should last <laughs> about 60 <laughs> to 90 we'll minutes. we have to pay <laughs> the 18 <laughs> people now. <laughs> Maybe, like, this no, is going to like. bad enough that they won't actually know. If it's going to play, guys, guys. Oh, no. oh my God. Greg, act it out. That's basically what it looks like. There we go. It's like you've been offline for too long. How dare you? Dang it. All right. So what were you guys' initial impressions of this game? I know, Greg, we had talked about war games before, and you're like, I just (laughs) wish that they would, like, update war games because it's boring. This thing is pretty looking. (laughs) Right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, it seems like they have everything here. They got, like, blockades and tanks and all kinds of – and then the little unit 
pusher things where you could put multiple units on one little like and base and yep. then move them all together and the buildings and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, this thing is really cool looking. I thought so too. I thought that this it's aesthetically pleasing. Right, it, it is. <laughs> it's anesthetically now. <laughs> Antiseptically pleasing. <laughs> Well, and I like the fact, of course, that one, it's a war game. Two, that you're not going to be rolling a bunch of dice in this game. You're mostly going to be using tactics she and she's bendy. Strategic, <laughs> strategic <laughs> movements with your troops. The dice are actually used only to notate really the different attributes that things have. So, yes, like, yeah, you, never you, you roll can put them the dice. Yeah, and then you have like little slots on the buildings you can put the them only on. I had to say about this game was about the dice, and it's gone now. Aww. Aww. Let's everyone pause. No input. Is there anything Aww. you'd Dr. like to say? Glory that was my best input. Was the dice. Dang it. Tanks have been out. done, says Vincent. What else do we have? Well, yeah, they kind of work, though. That's why we keep making them. Just. Well, I yeah. Think Vincent doesn't. Uh, Vincent's not excited by the anesthetic of this game. And Kabuki Kids <laughs> said that the toy factor is yes, high with this one. Much. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Like yeah. well, yeah. It's one of those things. You know, the game has a good toy factor when you're like, I could see using these in other things. Or you just could use like them in like anything. Just playing with but them. But like yeah. pew pew. Does this? I can still play with tanks. Going back sure, to sure. what we had originally said, Greg. Does this update? the war game feel to things for you. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I think like Memoir 44, this like instantly reminds me of Memoir 44, which also has the little miniatures and tanks, although this seems like it's taking it to a whole other level, which is also reflected in the price. Uh, but yeah, I do like that it's, they're using modern aesthetics with like this old style game, which war games, with some of the oldest board games that have been around, you know? Right. <coughs> Dr. Glory Hog, what are you thinking? Dice, and then He's you don't want to roll them. The <laughs> He's excited about the dice. <laughs> and then sad that you don't. This, you this do actually looks like a war game. I'd be interested. I typically tend to go more for fantasy because I did real war stuff. So yeah. But this looks interesting enough that I, I'm actually willing to give it a try. You like, are you a history buff at all? Not really. Like no. I, I was pre-military. Because everybody starts off that way. Like you're like, oh man, this is so cool. And I've yeah. watched like the World War II stuff with my dad. And then I joined the real army infantry and like was in a war. And then I was kind of like, like, oh, oh this sucks. Like, this sucks. Of scratch <laughs> that. <laughs> I'd rather, rather watch Lord of the Rings now. Like, yeah. You know, kind of a little detachment little from bit, reality. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. It's not all the. Yeah. It's a little different than the way it's portrayed on History Channel. <laughs> yes, even I the, even the History Channel's like worse ones. You're like, it's way worse than that. Yeah. yeah. So a core set for this game is hundred bucks. I think with all the miniatures and the boards, and they had a couple of double-sided boards. I thought and there stuff was a sixty-five dollar version. Am I tripping? All right, let me scroll I up. I just went past that. That's like a two-player two set. Yeah, okay. it's just the two-player set. Yeah, but, but that's, that's worth it. That's cool. I could see doing that because most time you play these games two-player anyway. It's, you'd have to. It's either like that's kind of true because it's either a two or four because you have to play teams. Yeah. So like, I don't think you can play three-player anyways. That's true. So like, well, one of them is two or four. Is this the one that's two or no, four? No, it's the other game. There's yeah, another it's game. another one. Shia But the m majority of Shia the time, Shia oh Shia Shia <laughs> Sorry, please go ahead. Ma 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 I'll just do this for you. <laughs> the majority of the time, people are going to be playing two players, Shia. usually with bigger games like I that. So, so that I makes sense. So. so you could go for the sixty-five dollar version of this, but and yeah. like. But if you're in the states like us, it's also eighteen dollars shipping. So you're already uh, getting back up. Close up to into that area yeah, anyway. Imagine yeah. what the next higher set. I would do the two player set to try it out and play it and see. I don't typically play a lot of games like these. Like we have games like these. Like we've got Attack Wing and yeah. you know, both D and D and Star Wars. We've got some other kind of bigger. It just takes a while to get them out and to run points and stuff like sure. that for them. But this one seems whip it out. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. Not everyone likes that. <laughs> and we're continuing. <laughs> this seems a little bit more <laughs> streamlined. Really lied, this seems a little bit more streamlined with everything. Um, I think all the games are good this week, and uh, for me, for real, right? Yeah. all of them are super good. <laughs> for me, the challenge that I've kind of put on myself pick is one. pick one. You know, and Ugh. so this is not the one, but oh, I would I'm not see what your one is. I would not dissuade anyone from this though, because it feels like it's like we talked about. I mentioned Memoir Forty Four, which has been around a long time. It feels like this is like that Big Brother version of that. Yeah, there's more ways to play. There's more like miniatures. There's more variety. I like that it comes from the real time strategy computer genre to this. Yeah, because I, that's the that's what right, I like about right. well, the only war games I play this online was a video are, game on that. are the real time strategy ones where you're commanding tanks and infantry units. Like I'll play. You know, Command and Conquer, Red Alert, some of those types of games. Yeah, for me, the, the IP here, need, I don't know the IP. So the I don't either, that's not a I selling like point for me at all. Yeah, the IP was not a selling point for me either because I don't play 
real time like war strategy games as far as like online, anymore. but oh but God. I like war oh, board I games. Tell you about video games. So this one I've heard here, good things like oh, there's, like there's one with like a ball that bounces. No, dude, I played and paddles. So for right? real, real talk, real quick, I started trying to play Bloodborne because we covered it, the card game. Yeah, and we've covered like the the board game. I tried playing it the other day and it wrecked me. It's brutal. I right? couldn't even get through like the first level without dying. And I'm usually pretty good at games, yeah. like picking them up and just playing them. I usually don't read tutorials. I just go. Yeah. She was like, "Dude, you're already looking up tips." I'm like, "I'm looking up beginners <laughs> tips, like how to heal, <laughs> how do you save, how do I move left? Yeah, like how do you <laughs> save? Like how do you fight normal enemies? I'm yeah. like, I'm getting killed." And so it, yeah, I was done. Kabuki Kid, yes, this is a World War II era sort of game, like except I think it's archers. like a alternate timeline sort of thing that you can do with it. And let's see here. Ben's yep. got a good point. Ben swapping out the put minis, little, little orcs, Lord and of archers. The Rings guys in there. I have Lord of the Rings Risk, like an old one to mm -hmm. put in there. And I think, honestly, that Eagles. not having dice rolls for <laughs> combat is better because then you're it's a purely strategic game because right. you're going you're troops versus out. troops. Yeah, you're planning stuff out you don't specifically fall into that for things. Risk trap where you're like, I'm attacking you with 20 armies, and, and then and then you off. risk Boom. roll, Boom. and then you just like Boom. roll badly, Boom. and well then all of a sudden your army's like. Meow. That's <laughs> just subjective. Do you want strategy or do you want tactics? You know, and when you play a game with a lot of die rolling. You got to roll with that. You got to yeah. literally go. Okay, that didn't go as I expected. Now I got to shift Dude, gears. I, played attack I like games with the overarching strategy as well, where yeah. you're not I like screwed by I a bad attack card flipper. I played like this giant. I was playing like Bahamut, like the like the god of dragons, right? Like the father of dragons. And we were playing the scenario, and there's all these little kobolds, and they're shooting. On the kobolds' turn, they get to go first. They killed my guy. And I was like, cool. The kobolds I'm take out? out the dragon. They're like, I, was like, ah, I guess I lose. That's like Game of Thrones <laughs> when they take out the dragon with the like trebuchet. Yeah. You're like, someone rolled a twenty. <laughs> like that's insane yeah. that I, they pulled I was that critical off. Hits. Though, cause I was critical like, hits. I didn't, I didn't read the scenario ahead of time. I came with the wrong forces, so that was partly on me. But like, I was like, wow, that sucked to come in with all my points in on one guy, and then he dies. And I'm like, all right, I guess I lost this round. Those buildings look amazing. Forty guys. minutes later, I'm like, who wants to play round? It looks so good. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't discourage anyone from backing this one, but like I said, you can get Memoir 44 on Amazon for 40 bucks. It's got the Richard Borg pedigree with the whole command and color system he's been working on for like years and years, decades even. And so, like, I think it's just not for me. But like, hipster Greg doesn't like the new. But no, I'm just saying, like, That's like. Cool, man. <laughs> I remember, I remember Memoir 44 when it was Memoir 4. God. <laughs> I'm just saying, this, right. this game feels like it's been done before, but this is like a more fleshed out version. If that's what you're looking for, I wouldn't discourage you. I just don't think it's for me. So, Greg, would you back that? No. Dr. Glorhog, would you back that? Yes, I would. I, w I just want to talk to Kabuki Kid here. So, Kabuki Kid's talking about how Let's there's not a formula Kid for a war. That's true. There's not a formula for war, but there are objectively advantages to different troop types. So yeah, if you've got just 10 infantry versus 5 infantry, yeah, you're not always going to win. But ob 9 times out of 10, 10 will beat 5 if they have similar training. So the I think the complaint of Kabuki Kid is there needs to be, there needs to be random more randomization. There needs to be some sort of chance. Kind of just simulate chance. those well, fluke things that can happen and on with the field. With this one here, whenever you're using uh, grenades and stuff like that, you still do dice rolls for yeah, those for particular grenades. things for explosions happening. But for the rest of it, where you're just strategically moving across the board and stuff with your troops, there's not a bunch of dice rolls for that. But you can, like, upgrade troops and give them certain attributes and stuff like that with yeah, everything. Yeah, and I so. have plenty of games that have a lot of randomization, like Dice Throne that have, you know, rolling dice and everything. But for, like, a war game, if I, I could see getting super frustrated because I know I have when you're playing a war game and there's just – too much randomization where you're just like, I'm rolling 12 dice. And you're like, no hits. Well, your risk okay. example is That was like great. the loudest clap ever. I'm sure like my mic just caught all that. Oh. But <laughs> that, like wasn't even a, that wasn't even a tried clap. Your glass I shattered. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> but I know I've done that before. I'd roll like 12 dice and I'm like, zero hits. Did and you say like if you'd back it? You said you'd back it, right? Yeah, I'd back okay, it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm going to say I'd back this as well. It's Nice way to get me off topic. Go ahead. It's that <laughs> update. <laughs> That I think down. that we've been looking for for that war game genre, and it'll be interesting to see how well this succeeds, and if in the future that we'll get more interesting-looking war games with, like, better maps and better components, even if they're just, like, not cubes, you know what I'm saying? And not maps that look like watercolors were yeah, just thrown on a map. I you know what I'm saying? I want to see the fear in the infantry's eyes as tanks roll over them. <laughs> no. <laughs> so what level? You guys, you guys just I'm do the two-player one, you think? Yeah, yeah, I think the 65 one would be good. Because there's so many <laughs> other options. You can upgrade it to do so much more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the clap. <laughs> you were already dead. <laughs> the clap heard the around clap. the world. Don't act like you could hear before, Vincent. <laughs> Vincent, we'll talk louder for you. <laughs> 
Next up, we have Shalina Warring States. This Shalina? is by is that how you call it? Shalina. I call it Shalia. Shalina. I think we'll probably. Well, all this is by Bad wrong. Comet. This is for two or four I can't players. Even say Comet, right? Comet. Comet. And it's gonna Comet. last <laughs> about thirty to sixty minutes. On Comet that. me, bro. And this is, although it's set up as a war style game, which you know, having the two of these together, they're it's extremely all about different your games. Your tableau building. Well, yeah, it's all about First, your towers. Yeah. And, yeah. and basically your base. So you're building to defend, and then you're also building to send out troops. But and there's dice placing, you're too, correct? Building, yeah, well, it's rolling and dice placing. So, so it's, it's almost kind of like the bottom portion of it's kind of almost like a machi koro where you're like building and then rolling. To well, put it's your a dice worker placement no, with dice. No, it's worker placement with dice. It's like Castles of Burgundy yeah. almost yeah. or something. Okay, well, so kind of. Or, like or what was that one with the camels? Kingsburg, maybe? What, what the heck did. That remember? Was Marco Polo? No, Come we did it at BGG. No, they had the camels, and we had to roll the dice, and then we placed the dice everywhere. And we had to get our camels across Marco the... Marco Polo. Oh, 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 yeah, Marco Polo. Yeah, Voyages yeah. of Marco Polo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Marco Polo? I, yeah, I yeah but when I you. said it, <laughs> nine times later, it matters. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear you. <laughs> Greg's life matters. That's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of Marco Polo and the fact that you are rolling those dice, Marco. and then you're placing them in certain strategic yeah, portions but, but to get effects. But the more, but still, uh, the theme is combat instead of just you know grabbing yeah. points. But it's I like that there's a piece mobile app looking too with the the way that like the art is done. Yeah, it kind of almost feels like I'm about to play Clash of Clans or something. Yeah. But I like that there's also like a peace win condition, they said as well, like a yeah. diplomatic way, which most war games just assume, oh, we're fighting and there's no other option. I kind of like that there's like, okay, you can also win. Oh, you can also try to go ahead and just like yeah. not attack each other and uh, well, it says that there's succeed. Like, it's another win condition. <laughs> I don't know exactly well, how they implement then it. Well, you can build up enough that you're like, you're unassailable, and then you can win through the culture Well, that's route. where it gets you, because you start building up for peace, for yeah. peace, and then somebody's like, they're getting too close. They're getting too close to winning. We gotta attack yeah. them. We gotta we gotta break well, them down. We got a couple of pegs, so. and yeah. then that's There's it. There's always only You're one already, other yeah. opponent. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. But I'm saying, like that's that's what happens is you build for peace. And then people are jerks, and they're like, "You're winning. I'm not yeah, gonna let you win." She's looking right at me when she said that. <laughs> I, like, I mean, she's not wrong. That's but her strat, though, too, all the time. <laughs> it is her strategy. I'll try different strategies. I'll be like, "Oh, I wonder if I can actually win through this peace route." You She'll mean be like, you will attack. consider peace, where she's just a full-on <laughs> warmonger? And would I say consider peace? It's just because like I'm tired. <laughs> And, like, and you're just I like, really I know, I know. I don't want to polish <laughs> hey my man. gun this morning. I'm <laughs> Fighting for 18 months gets tiring. You just so want to break. You know, I just want to relax. Just chill out by the pool just want to play some foosball, maybe. <laughs> foosball my flip-flops. <laughs> the art is super cute. Drinking it, a slushy from Circle It K. reminds me of a lot of the, uh, like, Fahim's Gone Wild, the Lucky Duck art and stuff like that that they have for all their games, Kingdom Rush, like that, you know? Yeah, Clash of Clans. Yeah. So. Yeah. I can see that. It's very cute and, and bubbly. Like you said, it kind of feels like an app. The buildings yeah, remind kind me of like old like school app. Warcraft. You know, you build your yeah. little yeah. buildings. That, oh, I can't wait for freaking but old but school for me, Warcraft right not now. Not you've asked, but for me, <laughs> this one is a try before you buy. Oh, okay. I, I, feel I feel that way too. I feel that way too. I feel like it could be really good, but I have to see it like in implement. Implement. I have to actually have it implemented. Implementation. <laughs> implementation? No. What is wrong with us? What today? word do I want to use there? You I want to see implement. the implementation of it. Yes, that's yeah, yeah. the word. I want to see, see the implementation. How they of it. implement it. I can't even say what I know the word. <laughs> I want to see the implementation. <laughs> <of> <laughs> implementation. <laughs> hey, I think you just have it. like an inflammation. Oh God. Inflammation of it. Oh no. Um. Let's see. I don't know. I'm like. I like this game. But I don't know. Do we you think it being like just two or four players is really going to affect it a bunch? Well, you just have to sort of ex want that kind of game. I mean, it's the sort of game where it's one versus one or a yeah. team versus team. I mean, it's just like the last Which is one. Fine. You yeah, know. There's a lot of games that play better that way, but they don't say that. Like, we've played, like, Rising Sun with, like, you know, odd numbers, and you always feel bad for yeah. that odd number. Yeah, you number don't want to play Rising Sun with or an odd number Dice at all. Or if you're playing Dice Throne is another example. I know I just brought that one up, but that's a dueling <laughs> game. If you play with three players, it gets, like, this weird King of the Hill thing. And yeah. Objectively, I love it at two. I like it at four. It's okay at six. I don't like it in the odd numbers. I just don't like it as much. With those are my least favorite. With these particular yeah. types of games, though, I really like the fact of having many other people because then you get into like that strategy of Robin like that sort of meta game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like shards of infinity, uh, where you're like, hey, we should gang up on her for a while. Longer. Oh, that never happened. You guys ganged up on me every time. Also with yeah, this one, how did you guys like the fact that you could play it in like Dog a gajillion pound? different ways? 
I always like that. I mean, that's like always you have a, a lot plus. more replayability because yeah. yeah, you absolutely. can do like campaign modes or like your alliances, like all sorts of different stuff. That was kind of nice interesting. When you have different options. I think for me, we keep saying this reminds me of this game, that game, yeah. this game, that game. It just feels like, is this going to feel like just things I've done before? That's why it's kind of a try before you buy for me, too, because okay. I don't know if I'm going to play this and be like, oh, this is just a mix of these two games, and I like those better. You know, like I, I, I want to really see yeah. the implementation and then Thank decide. You. I just want to see it in action and see if it's something I actually enjoy enough that I want to play it multiple times. Yeah, you like to watch. Because some <laughs> sometimes you play a game he and you're like, okay, he that wants to see it in well, action. Like that one game we played, I played over at your house. I was like, oh, this oh is like uh, Finkel. Like I was like, this is fun. Finkel. Is it not Finkel? Finkel. Wow. Finkel. <laughs> <laughs> like and I was like, I oh, this it. is. It was I a fun a game. game we're just, we're just like a wreck today. It was, we like are. It was a fun game, thing. but it wasn't like an immediately go on to Amazon and order or like you know. Maybe we shouldn't find. have done the show drunk. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, and this is also a forty dollar game, guys. So I do like the price tag. It's yeah. got a great price tag for the game and everything. <coughs> and I'm thinking it's more Kingdom Builder ish. Like if yeah. you like those type of games, it's right up your but alley. Not Kingdom Builder, which is an actual. No, game. not Kingdom Builder. But it's you know with it this zero dice fan. placement stuff I like that. I don't play Kingdom Builder, but I know that's a game. Yeah. Out that's of all, a game. Out you of don't need to. As Greg says, that's a game. That's a game. All the games that that's we have here today, this one, although I like how it looks and everything, and I liked everything involved in it, it was <laughs> not my favorite out of all of them. Me so neither. yeah. But it has potential. Like I. But it has a lot of potential. I would fully. I would not be surprised this in the least like if I third. played it and then I was like, "Ah, oh, wow, this is awesome." Well, this you is know? one that, like, as you're walking around the con floor, if you see it out, you're like, "Oh yeah, I'll play I it." Like, that. try That's the demo pretty. or something, and then you'll and yeah. then you'll be like, "Oh man, I really wish." We got I multiple people that. in yeah. the chat saying they don't like that mobile art style in board games. Oh really? Okay. Well, you're That's wrong. very interesting. No, Kabuki <laughs> Kid, you're right about Kingdom Builder. You love it or you hate it. I am curious what you think, Kabuki Kid. Yeah. Not a fan. The you're gonna see more mobile art style. Too because it's more appealing to the general masses. Yeah, it sells. Yeah, yeah. and People it sells. People are used to that aesthetic. It's younger kids, and it, it brings younger kids. They're in used and to seeing that like aesthetic implemented. And plus, there's Don't show off. <laughs> it <a> pronouncing <laughs> words correctly is now showing off. I can articulate and <laughs> pronunciate <laughs> all I want. <laughs> pronunciate. I love I know, it. I know. All right, the she's best making words. a point. Look at this guy; he's so I'm rude. The most words. <laughs> so friends with the best words. Even polysyllabic words. A lot of those sort of <laughs> games and that art <laughs> connect directly yes. to women because it has characters with bigger eyes and stuff like that, I which like that is more like anime-ish style, but not anime. But or no, what do you call it? You don't call it anime. You call chibi? it chibi. Yeah. Chibi yeah, style. more of that chibi style Kinda and everything cutesy. has bigger eyes, a little bit cutesier, and it like it's like. You know, stylized instead of uh, well, it's like it's having cats appealing. or something like that. Like yeah. cats' oh faces mimic babies' faces and stuff like that. Like just shut up. Are you scientifically, serious? that's serious. Cat and cats make meow cries like baby cries. Well, no, that's why like the <gasps> young version of, of of a species often have the bigger eyes and yeah. exaggerated features, so that they'll not be like eaten by mom right. and dad. They, right. It's a survival thing. They're we're like, oh we're my hard God, wired cute. to like that proportion. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> it's like uh, evolutionary. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I knew some of that, but I didn't think about cats. I've read about dogs oh and the way dogs stare gosh. at you to get that oxy uh, oxytocin. To to oxy oxy oxytocin? Oxytocin? All right. Like Next that. step. We need Stephanie. Yeah. We Where's have your wife at? Well, hold on. Actually you know what? I'm pausing. Cheetos. I'm pausing this. Hold on. All right. Oh. Greg, would you back that last one? No, that's a try before you buy for me, just like Dr. you were. We were very clear earlier if you would have been paying attention. I know. I was paying attention. <laughs> this is like our final say on it before we move on. She likes to have that final try yes before or no. I buy. Wow. We need I don't even know why that. I do the show with you guys sometimes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> he rubs off on me. Because <laughs> you couldn't do it by yourself, could you, Lassie? <laughs> I think she could. It'd probably be better. <laughs> Next up, Super we have Nicole. Battle Stations Dirt Side. This is by Gorilla Games. It's for one to eight players. It's going to last <laughs> you about 60 to 180 minutes. Super deformed. That's funny. This comes from the Battle Stations the sort of you like a banana? The dirt side. theme and stuff like that, which they've made other stuff. So you have like Battle Stations out in space and My stuff. And this over. is, hey, like, we're okay? running across the planet right. and being chased by people in Mad Max style. So like Battle Stations is an old game. That was kind of an underground hit. I never played it, but it had a very it spawned a bunch of different. Yeah, it had too. a very like stripped down look, and uh, like now they're you're landing on the world. You're not just flying around in space, and they've really upped the production on this one. So this is like the next 
generation of this and game. This it's been around those, for a long time. This is one of those RPG game hybrids. Yeah, kind of a mix. And it seems like this is just like such a passion project for the designer. Like he's been in this world designing and redesigning yeah. an update for years and years and he's years. He's like and the years. George R. R. Martin of Battle. No, I think Station. he actually finishes his work, though. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the difference. God, is it oh, me or is it so much in burn. Here? Oh, my God. It got darker. So much burn up in here. <laughs> so oh, God. But we're right. talking about uh, price tag. Oh, yeah. So that, but it's Ooh. $89. But so look, these four but people that's really like the enjoy <laughs> it. <literally. laughs> you're yes, in they that, sure do. You're in that $90 range. You have all the miniatures and everything like that. Like, when you get into but, but having miniatures the, in the, your game, Yeah, though. that's the, like, stripped-down version. I mean, there's, like, a 150 tier and oh 170. Oh, my like goodness. There's a lot of expensive tiers yeah. on this one. Yeah, well... But yeah. there's a fan base. I mean, look, they've got almost 1,000 backers. They've broken 100,000. Like they probably just know all those people. <laughs> <laughs> Just me and my nine hundred closest the, friends. They're probably married to the creator. Oh my gosh, let's not even start any of that right now. <laughs> there if is a fifty dollar add on where you can get the three hundred page rule book. Oh my goodness. Did you see oh that? Oh my goodness. I, I was did like, not. okay, this world might be a little bigger Holy cow. than I'm interested in jumping this is, well, into. Well, this is a lifestyle kind of game that we've yeah. talked about where you like you get this, yeah. you're like, I live in this world. Well, and I also, it's a cooperative, well, which is turned out for me. Well, this is an RPG style game. And it's an RPG. Yeah. yeah. So well, you're getting like are. your you RPG. You could play RPGs like your whole life. I mean, you could still be playing. People will still play the first version of Dungeons & Dragons. Like, still just play it because... Yeah. If it's RPG but style, you could just play forever. And you yeah. didn't need this one, though. The limit is your this is a separate one from the original uh, Battle Station. You can play so this uh, standalone. Yeah, you can play this as a standalone. Yeah. And yeah. this one was the one with the moderator where it's like it runs it for the you as opposed you. to like going through and having somebody kind of do that, which is nicer because then it's not it doesn't become one versus it's automated, many yeah. yeah you know and it shows you how it, wor it shows you like okay if these conditions are met then this is what the right. npc does you know and and i kind of i kind of like how it's <laughs> i kind of like that i mean that, that's a lot of work to make that work and if it's done well okay what's happening now are you doing sign nope, language nope ellen you did, did not you did not miss temple town i'm excited to talk about that one we're going to talk about that one here in a minute we're going to finish so this one first so so i use a lot of hand gestures i apologize so does she though there's some hand gestures that you know. Like it's funny use. though. I got. I mean, <laughs> I'm just I got, saying. I got called out by James Hudson for punching my fist a lot when I talk. Like you in do. Person. You do. Yeah. And it's a very aggressive. He's like, "Why are you punching your fist so much?" I was like, "What are you talking about?" I, was I like, don't know oh. what you're talking about. I don't do that. When I get really excited, I start talking about like, "Yeah, he just want to murder wanna you people." All right, something. guys. Would you back that, Greg? Uh, I haven't done the RPG thing in a while. It's very expensive. I'm not interested in like co-op as much as competitive usually. So I think I'm a pass for me, but. I would not discourage anyone from this one because it feels like this is such a passion project for this guy. Right. I was really impressed. <laughs> this is hard to talk this way when he's doing this. I was really impressed with just how much blood, soap, and tears it seems like he's put into this but over all these years. Well, yeah. If you can get a 300-page rule book yeah, full of right? stuff, like, that's I mean, that's this huge. seems like it's such an that expansive takes forever, world. Yeah, I don't to think write I'm looking that for, like, a lifestyle game. But if you are, this feels like a safe bet. I feel like there's been so much thought put into this. This kind of so reminds passion. me of some of like the Steve Jackson type games where it's like, you know, like Fantasy Trip where you're like, okay, I just live in Fantasy Trip now. So I do everything that that's they that's do. That's my life. That's my life. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Glory Hub? I, I'm a pass on this one. It just doesn't do anything for me personally. But it's it not doesn't look bad. Right. It's not yeah. the, um, I'm not looking for an RPG hybrid game right now and then the world doesn't <laughs> speak to me personally. Someone call Someone HR. Someone call HR. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because of this? <laughs> I did not approve this uh, oh physical my contact. Gosh. He asked oh for this all the gosh. time off the air. <laughs> yeah, allegedly. <laughs> You're not my supervisor. <laughs> all right, I'm going to have to say I'm going to pass on this Show one. Me on Although the dolphin. I, I love <laughs> RPG style games and I love RPG style games I that this are one in would box be right sets. Up your guys alley, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it has all the miniatures and everything. The but for this one, the theme doesn't apply to me. Like uh -huh. it doesn't excite me. It so literally doesn't have any cats in it. Right. But what there's about no the cats? bubble aliens, There's guys. no cats? Then no. If they were no, all no. cat figures, then there's maybe there's should a, be a Then I'd be 100% on board with this. All cat figures? Cat aliens? I think there's some rhinos, monkeys maybe? Guys, cat aliens? I'm down with that. But with this particular pussy. one, <laughs> with this, we're live, Greg Dixon. Pussycats. You're going to have to get on. Don't try to explain it. It makes it worse. That's what we were talking about, right, cats? Why my voice so high? Yeah. Oh, my God. You forget which show you were on? <laughs> I I continue to wow. stress wow. the fact that I was referring to the feline. Right. 
uh, animals. The feline. The, <laughs> the feline. If you're looking for an RPG Phylum. game, you have to have the theme that is super important yeah. to you and that you're really behind. And with this one, I'm not super behind the theme in it, so therefore I can't go out and say, yes, I would go ahead and back this. Other than that, it looks amazing. I love the fact what they did with the rule book and how they have everything in there. And you don't have to have oh. somebody running the campaign and stuff. I love all all of that. Like, v that Vincent is so is good. Scolding me. Sorry, yes. Dad. Yeah. I'm sorry, Vincent. <laughs> I should be more respectful I'm of ready my for elders. The I'm ready for the Tidal Blades RPG. All right. That's let's go happen. to Trouble in Temple Town. Oh like my God. I'm so yeah, excited. This, this is, is the, by. This is the after school. This is the uh, Magic School Bus game. Too fat, too fat <laughs> to fly game. You get in the Magic School Bus and it shrinks down inside of Arnold and they're going through yeah. his body. That's what it is. This is for one to four players and it's going to last about Magic 45 to 90 minutes on this. And I love how originally I was looking at this and I was like, what is this? And then I didn't catch on immediately that this was about White like. Cells. Yeah, and it's that is the antibody antibodies and stuff it's like that. And they're all working in there yeah. and they're trying to like Quick, shut Stephanie. things down and put up like <laughs> walls. That's what she's been looking and like, yeah, exactly. I thought that was incredibly like ingenious and cute, and I was like, "Oh, what a great tie!" So I researched these like in the same order we're talking about them. Yeah. And the first three were like, "Okay, kind of seen that before." Yeah. Another war game, another you know expansive RPG space thing, whatever. Yeah. This one, I was like, oh, "Something this is different." It. This is it. You can put it next to your Cytosis <laughs> game. <laughs> yeah, but that's just like a dry, like, science only. This is like such a fun idea. There's only right. one other game I can think of, which is Viral. Have you guys played that one? Where you're like inside the body, and that's like the I've theme seen of that the one. Game. I haven't played it, but I've seen but that one. But this is like takes it to a whole other level. It does. Because it has this like almost like this fun. noir. Yeah, almost like Men well, in Black kind right, of feel right, yeah. inside the body. I just love that this has some X factor that like. It's unique. It's different. It's so hard to find unique and different in 2019 with like the decades of gaming For in, real. in our rear view mirror. You know? Absolutely. I was talking to the person that invented the <laughs> pandemic, and that's actually set inside one person's body. <gasps> Plot them. twist. Actually, this does remind me of pandemic, but I think <laughs> I would like this theme better. You know. Okay. Plus, yeah. I think this one has a cooperative way to play. You don't want to save humans. Yeah. You just want to save yourself. <laughs> exactly. No, but plus this, this has, has co -op a, co -op a cooperative way and a competitive and a solo. Yep. So oh, I didn't realize that. It, I thought it was just co-op. I didn't know. No, it was no, it's all three. It's yeah. all three. So I mean, you're getting really so much all in one box. Before I started talking about it. Yeah, you and they have should they have cute little I like the video like five times. <laughs> viruses and stuff like that. Virus meebles. Well, I like the they're not viruses, but they're. I mean, they are viruses. It feels like everything is I like the bad guy. He looks like legit, like little trouble in big yeah, he's China. he's creepy. Big trouble. Big trouble Frankie in Bola. China. Frankie, Frankie Bola. Bola. Yeah. <laughs> eh, eh. But I like the aesthetic. It feels like everything feels like outside the box on this. Mm -hmm. Like they're like, let's yeah, just go crazy with like sherbet color schemes. Yeah, you can't play this game while it's in the box. You can't. <laughs> Wait a minute. So all of the little areas that you have there, do you think those are like the little cells and stuff like that? You know, yeah, and you're then like you're creating you're the little walls like and everything. You're protecting like parts of the body. Yeah. From, yeah, yeah. And, and it's it a modular board, so like right. your body can be shaped differently every. I well, I kind of like I like that <laughs> so much because my blood cells don't have a sense of. I've got a down. nose coming out of a palm. It's those little tiny details that they added to just like tie in the theme, to where you don't notice it right away. But as the more you play this game and stuff, the more you look at it, you're like, oh man, this is so cool what they I did to it. I got it right it. away because your body's a temple. <laughs> <laughs> and they've got like little backstories on all the characters. No, they make they say that. I didn't that. think of that. They I say that in the I video. I didn't remember that. No, <laughs> Your body's original. a temple. That's, <laughs> I love that. You're welcome. <laughs> you guys can feel free to put that in the video now. Oh my gosh, so funny. Yeah, no, this was 100% like as soon as I saw the theme and then the miniatures are cute. You look like you needed a hug. I liked the art. I liked that <laughs> Norse style. Yeah. The meeples look amazing. Like I just want more. I want more oh, of this game. That's a good one too. Is there a flu Manchu in there? Oh, there should be. A flu manchu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a flu manchu. Yeah, this was win, win, win. And being able to play it cooperative. Win, win, win. That's three wins. As yeah. well as competitive was huge because not, and not everybody likes playing co-op games. I'm not, a big co I'm not a big co-op guy. Yeah, people just don't yeah. like playing okay them. Co-ops always have like an uphill battle with me. <laughs> like I assume going in, uh, it's probably not going to be my thing. So they have to like have something extra. Something extra. You know, or or sometimes the very stripped down light ones like the game or the mind, where or just one, like that's a little different. But when it's like a big box co-op game, more often than not, I'm like, oh, 
need something else, you That's know. Okay. The so price, I like competing. The price on this is sixty bucks. Yeah. It was fifty nine bucks. So it's like it's a very pretty reasonably reasonable. priced you play game too. Does Stephanie pretty much just lead it and you just kinda follow whatever she says? No. Yep, that's yes. it. That's Sometimes. It. Yes. Sometimes. Yes. Depends on the game, actually. Listen, Stephanie has good plans. So she's good, <laughs> man. She's, she <laughs> Everything <knows how> <laughs> except for one major plan she's had it was pretty good. Aww. <laughs> She made one bad choice and it really turned her life around. Paying for listen, that mistake No, ever listen. Since. Every time we play games with Stephanie, I always look at exactly what she's doing. I'm like, oh, that's how you win. I'm like, I'm going to try to do that. Hold on. Just cut. He does yeah, that I'm going to hold on. Let me try copy this. Copy the Stephanie strategy, yeah. <laughs> Because she's good. She knows it. She goes pinpoints what exactly for what I do is I just do my own is. thing and then find out later, oh, that's not how you're supposed to play that rule. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. We're Aww. like, it's worker placement. You're not supposed to stack your workers, Derek. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm super excited about this, guys. Cards? What are these? Oh, those are some of the cards Vincent in the Vincent says he backed this one. <laughs> he loves the humor. Did you look at the stars this I week? did, but as she's rolling, I didn't like look at these cards. I, I like the look of the cards. You, you I like the player boards. Stuff, yeah. The player boards with like the little cutouts where you can throw in the little They look like they're Pokemon cards. Like something you'd play Pokemon I like the color scheme. I do, too. Gold with the purple. Especially Everything about like this Pokemon. game, it just feels like they did. Pokemon. They were just, like I said, thinking outside the fun. box, doing it was something different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is actually the design team that did um, Moonshiners of the Apocalypse. Which yes. I, which did you guys back that one? I, I wish we would have. I, I wanted to. I and I, and I was there like were too many yeah. good ones happening at yeah. that same time. But I wasn't sold Moonshiners on that one for some was on our list of like, yeah. man, I was super excited about it. Yeah. I don't think you liked the theme of Moonshiners as much, well, but I thought it was and hilarious. Once again, it seemed like, like whimsical. I don't know what the right. word is. This it was one, just the same different, thing. Right? Yeah. It looked like a parody game it, in a way. It feels yeah. like they're thinking outside the box. I, I really want to keep my eyes on this design team, these people. I just want to say that if yeah. you took this little sand timer and you just secreted it into your buddy's game bag and they didn't know what it is, they'd freak the F out thinking that there's like a like an FBI tracking it bug in there or something. <laughs> like, God. Like they got a bug. So you need to carve like FBI and small letters on the bottom. And ten Hello? ten dollars more <laughs> for your hero miniatures and all that pineapple, other stuff pineapple. with it. The code word is pineapple. <laughs> Say that again. Sorry. Another another ten bucks to get the deluxe. The option minis on look it. pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, the minis do look it's really only great. It's a ten dollar difference. And all the yeah, it's only a ten dollar yeah, difference, right? It's fifty nine right? versus sixty nine. Oh, like, why wouldn't you go for the yeah. sixty nine dollar one? Well, I'm sure they put that in there because some people nice. don't like acrylic gems. Yes, please. She's sorry, sold, I'm sorry. Is this I'm your sorry. favorite of the this four? This is my favorite of the me four, too, guys. Me too, me too, yeah. I'm so like excited. I said, everything looked good this week, oh but this God. one just guys, we're backing felt this. outside <laughs> the box a little bit. Yeah. I've been waiting to back this. So a lot of times I wait until like we do the show because I want to surprise people by what we're backing and what we're not backing. And this sometimes like I need to back things like ahead of time. I'm like, oh, I just want to back this so much right now, but I can try to hold off. That's funny. Yeah, no, I, I knew that I was backing this as soon as I saw the Kickstarter for it. You know people are it. watching you. Yeah, right? <laughs> If you follow, if you follow me on Kickstarter, a, uh, you can see everything and I back. it's not just the NSA everything. through this device. <laughs> Other people are watching That's nothing. you, too. She actually got, um, there was a little girl that uh, dyed her hair just like hers. I saw that. Yeah, yeah that was yeah, yeah. super They're, cute, they do stuff, right? They do content. Yeah, that's cool. That was really awesome. Yeah, no, we're Gil, I'm 100% backing this. Oh, okay. Are you backing? Does that mean do I have a choice? No, you but, I mean, you need to at least go ahead and say yes or no. I'm on the fence with this one, but really? if you, you like it, I'm willing to give it a shot. Okay. What's... what's What's we'll put you on the fence I don't here. know. You know, honestly, out of all the games this week, none of them really were ones that I felt like I had to own. Oh, that's but really yeah. interesting. But part of that might be because she just bought a bunch of games from Origins. And sure, sure. And I just got games for Father's Day. But this isn't coming to like six months. So <laughs> you'll you'll no, play all of those by then. I know, but like th I just got like <laughs> yeah, probably like you. fifteen to twenty new games, and yeah. so like I'm in glut right now. Where I'm like I've got so yeah, much. I got that more than I can I can't handle. It's like Thanksgiving. I, I'm already full, and I'm like, can I eat another Seriously. piece of pie? I don't think I can. Yeah. So I'm just pretty full up right now. Right? Like I'm not like like I'm gonna go play Magic on Sunday, and I have like four brand new play mats, and I'm like I don't even know what to use. <laughs> like, and I'm not trying Bear to brag. Of riches. I'm not trying to brag. You're not trying to, but you are. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but I just feel like I have my cup overfull of. That's not. It's that's how it's said. Overflow. Yeah. Over not that overflow. doesn't sound right. Uh, yeah. We should look it up. <laughs> Yeah, no. And Greg, would you back this? This is the one of the four this is that the one. I was the most excited about. So then we don't about. need to because you're going to? Maybe. Maybe. It's you're the one I'm most the excited about. I'm not going to pull the trigger. I might. Maybe. I like this Maybe. one. This, is, this one's, if like you, I said, it's got If you pull the trigger, let us know, and then we can, you know, do Heroes. I'll Which, pull your trigger. As a note, guys, so if you guys follow <laughs> me on Kickstarter, you, you get to see all of the crazy things that I back that we don't talk about. Because if you like dice and you like RPGs and stuff like that, I and back tiny those electronic things too. Sand timers. And apparently tiny electronic <laughs> sand timers. I actually for the Glory Hound account, 
for the most part, I only back board game related items or game related items. Do you have a second Kickstarter account? I don't. But if I if I was gonna back <laughs> anything else, I would you make would a second a new one. Account just to back just to back something hey, else. Because I wanted to we just to be at a the web thing. with a friend of ours, and they're like, "Oh, that must be my other Kickstarter account." We're like, "Why do you have two? They're like. Well, you only got the bonuses if you got like if you were separate pledges. So she's like, I made another account so I could back oh, the game twice. Oh, that's right. To get like is the pledges right. like, twice. Is that like legal? I don't <laughs> like, know. Can you do that? They did it. That's funny. They did it. Oh, the exploration, which we covered way back in February, relaunched this week. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, I, th I we think I had seen that. We don't recover them again. Yeah, we don't recover though. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you know what else can we really say? Unless there's been some dramatic changes. But well, we try to like say like, oh, this has been relaunched. Like when uh. Papillon was relaunched. Yeah, launched. yeah. We were like, hey, this is back out. Yeah, absolutely. Papillon. Papi, Papillon. What else? Papi what else we have going on? So we're going to, I'm going to be, that. well, we're going to be home for a little while. I think a we have. three weeks. Well, is it really only three weeks? No, Where are you guys heading next? She's, go, she's going no, to No, I'm going to go to Gen Con, too. Oh, right, right. So That's an we're going to uh, do that. But it's August. August, beginning of August. So yeah, it's like four, four or five, five weeks. weeks. Okay. Yeah. I'll be at Dice Tower no Con early July. Oh, yeah, and you'll be at Dice Tower Con. So my brother lives out there. Greg will be there in the middle. You gonna play some games with Tom? What's his favorite game? Maybe. Raccoon you Tycoon. Get, you gonna give him encounter? high fives? You gonna give Tom high Tom? fives? He no, he he liked Raccoon Tycoon. What was the one that you it played? It was the he Estates was like he didn't like. Oh, oh the yeah. Okay. He I was thinking the Estates. Estates. Yeah. He's like, someone's playing the Estates? <laughs> I brought it to the retreat. The Estates, and I was which like, is an amazing game. Yeah, I was surprised it wasn't Estates in that library because so that guys. retreat library is awesome. Yeah. And then like we're playing it and he walks by. He's like, oh, I hate that game. I'm like, oh, ah, yeah. now I see why it's not in the library. Yeah, the Estates, if <laughs> you guys you haven't played it, it's by Capstone. It's so good. Like, why not? Because not all games are for all people. That's true. Wow. Deep thoughts with Dr. Glory. <laughs> you guys like how we coordinated our shirts? She's got. No, I didn't get the memo. I feel I should have sat on the rainbow. other side so I could have been like puking on somebody, like the rainbow on somebody, and that would have been fantastic. Hashtag Are we still? She has puked on me in real life. Planning on PAX Unplugged. Right I would literally really like to do PAX Unplugged. They oh, start looking call. at pricing and, and stuff for that. Uh, if we do PAX Unplugged, it'll be all. It'll be the kiddo and us. And whoever else, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna see. <laughs> the cats. We're gonna see. It's it <laughs> it ended up being like a pretty heavy price tag because we are traveling all the way from the other side of the states. Okay, and buddy, you look winded. <laughs> yeah, it's gone too long. The no, the ticket prices. <laughs> the ticket prices for packs, not the actual thing, but you know, flying out there and stuff like that was quite a bit with three people. Which packs? I'm, I'm having a brain fart. Unplugged. No, where? It's a s what in Philly? Philly. Yeah. Okay. So we are traveling all the way across yeah. at just yeah, like in December or something. Hours, well, like I do Dice Tower like Con every year. It's the same thing. It's in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just like, you whoo. going, too. Yes, yes. Yeah. That but in the past, we've brought a kid or Stephanie yeah. or whatever. And, it's and like it becomes oh. a lot. Just a kid you left I would home. love to yeah, go, though. Yeah, we actually did one year. Because we'll the one was too young. They have like a cutoff for like the kid's room. It's, it's a whole other Maybe You left it with a parent, though, Maybe somebody. No, no, just in the crate at home with bread and water. Oh. Maybe somebody would pick us up, and then we'd be working the show, and we would totally do that, probably. I like how you had to ask. You left it with a person, right? Of course we left our sure. daughter with a person. Hey, I could see Alice fending for herself. She could. She could take on whatever. All right, guys. Th pressing your tortoise in the backyard. Thank you so much for joining us today. Sorry, we haven't seen each other in a while, she so we're a bit crazy. And all yeah, we were a bit crazy Says today, Dragon guys. <laughs> there was... I would have had to bleep things if this wasn't live. It was it was crazy. And Why I just kicked bleep? you. I just kicked Why'd you. you kick I don't know. <laughs> you probably deserved so it. <laughs> you probably deserved it. Were Greg, we? where can we did check we you out at? We? Okay. Hooked on Geek. New episodes. We're back. Our hiatus is over. We've got two episodes out, you out already. You started a podcast? Yeah, yeah, a little while back. <laughs> you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You have to follow them because you got to convince Stephanie that Fritos are still food. She does not believe. She's not Fritos a Frito fan. Food. She's not. She's a, a Dorito fan. fan, and you she can only love one Ito. She likes Takis. That's not an Ito, so that's different. Yeah, you can only love. One. I mean, Cheetos are part of. We've discovered different flavors of Takis. Yeah, there's a whole bunch. There's like yeah. lava and fuego. We have the and guacamole. Right. Dr. Glory the Hog. <laughs> where can we find you at? <laughs> Dr. Glory Hog or on the Glory Hound account. Something right. like that. All right. Know. And other than that, we will see you guys all next week. We're super excited to be back and playing Kickstarters. Do the shoulder shrug. Uh, what Come else? We want to do. We want to do uh, some live plays and stuff like that. Still, why hopefully soon. What? I don't know. What's don't happening know. right now? Why do you guys listen Four to? I don't know why we listen to you. All right. We're doing. See you later. So dumb. Don't listen to me. <laughs>